Another edition of Neon Trash. Ooh, Tonight weird. I'm hanging out with Johnny Rocket, Dale, Amber, Olivia, BC. Firing things off real quick here because I don't know when this train's going off the rails. Dale, what have you brought Whoa. tonight for us to watch? <laughs> wow. Well, it's the girl in room 2A, which is a one of the first freaking uh, I guess gore porn films. Uh, there's also Herschel Gordon Lewis, but this is definitely up there. It says that they're with Hostel, 1970s, uh, from Mondo Macabro. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Watch that fucking clip. <laughs> so we're going to be kicking off the trailer, guys. Keep that shit, we'll be right back, motherfuckers. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Enslaved, she became a sexual plaything in a strange, sadistic ritual. Forgive me. There is no forgiveness. There is no forgiveness. All right. Just got done watching the girl in room 2A. And yeah, this was an interesting little in-between slice of Italian horror suspense type flicks. Um, I guess, I don't know, I was expecting a little bit more in the action and gore department, but this is like 73, so it was kind of before that really started to go crazy, I guess. So it, it was, you know, pushing the limits here and there as much as it could, I suppose, but I don't know, honestly, overall, this story kind of, I don't know, it, it, it kind of came together at the end, but it, like, God damn it, did it take a sweet-ass time? It was, it was 85 <laughs> minutes, and it was like, Man, that was a grind, you know? Mm -hmm. It was really a grind. Half hour of it should have been cut. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. I can give this a solid six out of ten stars. I expected a lot more from this movie, but it was more like a TV special. I could see this being on a Saturday afternoon, edited. Not very much, because it really didn't offer too much gore. A Jayo is a Jayo. So, will Rocket, 1973. Boring. I enjoyed it, story-wise. Star count? I'll give this bitch a five. Okay, so I am a huge Jalio fan. I, I do love, love a lot of uh, Italian and European cinema, generally speaking. So, coming into this film, um, I guess I had high expectations, but I shouldn't have, because anything that's not Argento or Fulci or of like the top ten in those regards uh, it's gonna kind of fall a little bit short here, and that's what this movie does, is it falls short. There's a couple of interesting elements, and I do like European cinema, generally speaking, but overall, that middle segment was a slog to get through. I will say this, though, the uh, main killer, awesome outfit. <laughs> From head to toe. Yeah. I, I will get extra points for costuming. I mean, the end, the Scooby Doo sequence with him <laughs> like, right away, and then it turns out to be exactly who you fucking think Fuck. it's gonna be. Um, I don't know. Uh, despite all that bitching, I had a good time watching this mm -hmm. flick, so I'm gonna go with a solid six and a half, almost a seven out of ten. Um. Yeah. So. I would have never watched this if someone didn't bring it here for a review, and I'm never gonna watch it again. Um, <laughs> wow. But it wasn't bad in a setting of other people being here watching it together, but like I wouldn't pick this and watch it alone. Um, it's not my thing. There were some funny parts where it just switches language in the middle. It does, yeah. Like they're speaking one language and then they're speaking another language and then it switches back. <laughs> we were all like, wait, what? What is happening? Yeah, that and was then, um, it really was. Yeah, and I mean, 
it mentions hostel on the back. It says before hostel there was the girl in the room. This doesn't compare to hostel. Like I really like yeah. hostel. And not like this I don't think is on the same level. Very close. I do see uh, the correlation though. I do. Yeah, I mean it's it's they're like related, but like this is like even in like the crappy <laughs> version of it. Um or the hostel just made a really better version of this. <laughs> um my star count is a Wow. Well, based on what Dale said before, this seemed to be, uh, I thought it was going to be some extreme erotica. Allegedly. <laughs> Damn! So I was like having to prepare myself, and it was just like, this is a really long beginning. And then it was like, oh, I guess <laughs> nothing extreme that I have to prepare myself is going to happen. Not but a damn thing. kind of just felt like a really long beginning, the whole movie, like waiting for what's going to happen. And you're just like, Meh. okay, thanks. At the end, it's like, not much. So I'm going to give it four. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. Wow. I barely laugh. <laughs> 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 I'm on the top. Yeah, I'm with everyone else here. I was kind of expecting more from this movie. But I will say, like, the little bit of Giallo films I've seen, it's mostly just supposed to be like a visual feast, and that includes the outfits, you know, the people getting their hair all nice, all that stuff, oh, that and the Technicolor, the way it's shot. And so that at least makes it like watchable, I would say, and like somewhat interesting. But outside of all that, I don't know, it was just kind of a tame affair. Mm. And so my star count is going to be a five. This is not the best Jalio, but I am glad that Dale had brought it for his pick. Because European films are kind of fun to watch, especially yeah. if you've been drinking. I hope I've been informative, guys. Until the next time. Tune in! Tune in!